This just in, Brittany Griner addressing the media for the first time ahead of her anticipated return to the basketball court for the Phoenix Mercury. Let's take a listen. There we go. Ooh, a little different than basketball press conference. A lot of media in here today. I guess I'm going to start with y'all today, right now. Um, first off, I just thank y'all for covering me and um, all the exposure that you, you gave me, my family, um, to get me home. Uh, I really appreciate it. That, that coverage was, was much needed. Um, I would like to encourage all of you to be at our first game as well and the whole entire season covering not only the Phoenix Mercury um, with the best fans in the league, but the whole entire league as well. You know, from start to finish, I, I expect to see this same coverage because we have a great product and you'll see it this, this summer. Um, start off with, uh, with the Mercury. Thank you so much, um, everybody um, with the Phoenix Mercury organization all the hard work, long hours, everything that y'all did to, uh, for me, my wife, my family, um, getting me back home, being there, supporting me, letting me know that I wasn't alone. Um, it means everything to me, uh, to everybody. Vince, Bryce, Jim, I mean, coach, everybody, the players. Uh, I mean, it goes all the way down to the people that keep this building running. Um, you know, it's a family with the Mercury. Um, I would also like to thank Bring Our Families Home. That, uh, thank you so much for being here and representing everybody here. Um, it, means, it means the world to have you here right now um, and everything that you did also and that you're, that you're, you're doing. You're so strong. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, of course, President Biden, Vice President um, Harris, um, Governor Richardson, uh, I mean, the list goes on to, to everybody that was a part of this. Um, the WNBA, um, WNBPA, uh, Wasserman, my agent who's here as well. Uh, long, a lot of long hours. <laughs> you, of course, my wife. I mean, come on now. Like, I couldn't have did it without her. A round of applause for my wife, honestly. She had the hardest job, honestly. Um, Thank you so much, babe, for being there for me. I, oh yeah, <laughs> you the one. <laughs> uh, you know, we could just get into it. Uh, love to start taking some questions, you know? So we just keep it moving along like it's post game. Hello, hi, welcome home. Oh, so good to see you. You too. What resilience has been required for you to be sitting up here today? How have you found the resilience personally to be here with us? You know, I'm no stranger to, uh, to hard times, so. <laughs> See, you cried and you made me cry. <laughs> um, just digging deep, honestly, you know, uh, you're going to be faced with adversities um, throughout your life. Uh, this was a pretty big one, but I just kind of relied on my hard work, getting through it. I know this sounds so small, but you know, dying in practice, you know, and, and just hard workouts, uh, you find a way to just grind it out. Just put your head down and, and just keep going, just keep moving forward. You know, you can never stand still, and that was my thing, just never. Never be still, never get too focused on, on the now and just, you know, looking forward to, you know, what's to come. Hey, Britt, uh, BG, Matt Gutman with ABC News. I think I echo everyone and my colleagues here. We are so happy to see you here. Uh, thank you. And I don't know if it was timed with your availability today, but you may know that uh, the Washington Post, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal put out an ad demanding the release of Evan Gershkovich today, right? Um, so, uh, during your detention, were you aware of all of the efforts on your behalf of the hashtag we are BG, and what message would you send to Evan and Paul Whelan today? Uh, yes, I was aware. Um, there was a little bit of a delay. Um, 
you know, I'm getting new sometimes, but I was aware of, of the efforts and everything that was going on. I was able to see pictures sometimes of different different things, the, the We Are BG. So um, just knowing that and having that, just being aware of what was going on when, you know, you don't know anything. You're, you just... You're there. You're sitting there. You're you're like, okay. I know people are are, are fighting for me or bringing awareness um, to what's going on, and uh, those 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 times where I was able to see what was going on, it, it definitely you know it, it it made me a little bit more comfortable. Um, it made me a little bit have hope, um, which is a really hard thing to have, a really dangerous thing to have because you know when it doesn't work, it's so crushing. Um, and I would say. To, to everyone that is wrongfully detained um, right now across the world. Uh, stay strong, keep fighting, don't give up. Um, just keep waking up, find a little routine and, and stick to that routine and as best you can. I know that's what, what helped me, just finding little things if it was just whatever it was, you know. Um, just keep pushing because we're, we're not gonna stop. We're not going to stop fighting. We're not going to stop bringing awareness to everyone that's, that's left behind right now. Hi, um, it's, it's Ewan McCurdy with CBS News. Um, first of all, welcome back. We're so thrilled to have you here. Uh, I was wondering if you could explain a little bit about what your ordeal did for your mental and your physical health and what your journey has been to get back to the place where you are now, where you're about to, about to embark on preseason. Um, you know, it was strenuous um, and coming back from basically, you know, doing nothing, uh, not having any gym or anything to, to be at. Um, getting back into it was hard. It, it's still a process. Um, you know, just the little things. I mean, doing a plank, you know, it was so simple before and couldn't even stay up very long, you know, and just a regular plank when I first came back. Uh, because as an athlete, you always want to be where you left off. And I left off playoffs, you know, finals, Chicago. Um, and I wanted to be that, that player when I started back. And uh, just everybody telling me to give myself grace and uh, take, it's going to take time. But that's the hardest thing to do to, to a pro athlete because we always want to be right back at our tip top shape. Um, so it, it's been a struggle, but like I said, it's, it's liberating as well at the same time, just as a release, just getting back to my craft. And then being here in Phoenix, you know, with my coaches and my teammates really supporting me, you know, at every step of the way on the court. So it's been, it's been pretty good. Brittany Griner able to resume her accomplished basketball career in which she has won two Olympic gold medals. She was named an all-star in all but two years of her nine-year WNBA career. That makes seven-time all-star and former WNBA champ. She is back at it.